Welcome to the historic freight depot in downtown Dalton. I'm Veronica French with the Downtown Dalton Development Authority and this program highlights our unique locally owned businesses in downtown. The Creative Arts Guild has First Friday gallery opening every first Friday at 5.30 p.m. It's free and open to the public and it highlights featured artists that have their works in the gallery. We also have the farm to table market. This is every Thursday on North Hamilton Street. You can get fresh local produce and different food goods. There are cakes and cookies and boiled peanuts and grits and cornmeal and all types of food products available there on Hamilton Street from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Thursday through October. And then we have the Special Olympics coming back to town on October 13th. They have a bike race from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And there are street closures involved with that. So Hamilton, Kyler, Pence, and Waugh Access Road will be affected from 9 to 1. And we have our Liberty Tree Festival coming up. The festival this year is going to cover two weeks. Um, the barbecue competition, the Kansas City State Sanctioned Competition, will be October 20th and 21st at Dalton Green. And we welcome Kevin Kinney from Driving and Crying. We'll be playing Saturday night, the 20th. And then Sunday, the 21st, we'll have the People's Choice Competition, where you can pay $10 to taste all the barbecue you'd like and vote for your favorite at 2 p.m. The next weekend, the October 27th and 28th, is the big Liberty Tree Barbecue and Music Festival. We'll still have lots of different types of barbecue for people to try. This or you can just purchase whichever type you'd like. And we have a great lineup. The Chatham County Line, Holy Ghost Tent Revival, Tiller's Folly, Brian Ashley Jones, the New Binkley Brothers, New Blue, Francis Mooney, and the Fontana Sunset and spatial effects will all be playing Saturday or Sunday. And admission is just $5 and children under 12 are free. We have lots of activities for children, including face painting and inflatables and different types of games with prizes. And we also have arts and crafts vendors and we welcome vendors to contact us at 706-278-3332 if they'd like to participate. Today we'd like to welcome Leanne Lawson from the Creative Arts Guild. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Veronica. We appreciate you having us. I'm here. I would like to talk about our Spiegel Concert Series. Great. I know this has been very popular this year and last year. So it's, got it's, this is our final performance, our second year. Yes, it's been great. We have um, kind of developed a little um, blues jazz club atmosphere at the Guild and, um, and it's, been, it's been wonderful. People come in. Uh, bring their picnics, bring their uh, coolers, and um, set up their tables. Some some decorate the tables and, and have a good time, have a have a party, get a lot of friends together. This concert is October the 19th at 7 o'clock at the Creative Arts Guild, and it features Azure McCall, who is billed as Honolulu's First Lady of Jazz. Um, she was in Honolulu for a good number of years and moved to Atlanta and is um, now um, sings regularly at the, uh, some of the blues clubs and jazz clubs in Atlanta and has made a name for herself in Atlanta. So we're really excited about her being Great. here. Great. Well, it's wonderful that Dalton can get some of these uh, musicians to come to town and entertain us. It is wonderful. And um, thank you so much for the Community Foundation of Wells Fargo. They help, help uh, support this program and, and bring um, these kind of events to Dalton. Now this is a special concert, I understand. Some of them have a range in price. Um, some of them have been free, some are five dollars. So this, what, what are the This ticket concert prices? is ten dollars for adults, five dollars for seniors and students. Everybody's invited. And you do you also this time have a special where you can purchase a table that is included? You can you can um, we have tables set up for um, six, eight, four, whatever. So you can pretty much come in and, and grab a table. It's usually not a problem. You can call ahead and let us know if you'd like. Um, tickets are always available at the door and we always will have a chair and a table for anyone that comes. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> but this is one of those that you don't want to miss. It's, uh, she's fabulous. 
And you've also got uh, Mistletoe Market coming we up. We do. Mistletoe Market will coincide with the Holiday Open House downtown. At the Guild, um, we will have our, a lot of festival artists will come back on November 2nd and 3rd. Friday and Saturday. Um, we'll be there for our first Friday um, opening reception, so we'll be open late Friday night and then all day long on Saturday. So if you missed your favorite festival art artist or you know maybe some other artists that didn't come to festival this year, didn't make it, then you can come and, and uh, make your holiday purchases again. No, it's a great time to purchase mm -hmm. locally made gifts exactly at the Guild. Right. And we would like to remind everyone that the Guild does the first Fridays and we have an open gallery there. It's free and open to the public. And there are ongoing classes for everyone. That's right. And we have gymnastics, dance, music, and art. art. Um, so a lot of activities for the whole family. Yep. Thank you so much for coming today to Thank tell you. us about the Guild activities. And now we welcome Shantae Russell from Broken Spoke Kitchen and Tavern. It's one of our newest businesses downtown and we're so grateful that you could meet with us today. Thank you for having me. And I understand that you have a new menu and one that is seasonal. We do. We do a seasonal menu. That way we can guarantee fresh produce. And I think you've got soups, salads, and what, what is on the we menu? We do. We do a lot of soups and salads, sandwiches. Uh, we do a feature plate. most most every week everything's homemade um, we do a dish we have a shepherd's pie that's fantastic um, that one's a big seller and uh, our homemade barbecue we recently added homemade barbecue and the later into the fall that it gets the more and more fall football weather foods that you're going to see chilies brunswick stews potatoes barbecue well, things that you enjoy during getting. football weather great reviews and we're really excited to see what's on the new menu now um, and I know you also have live music in the tavern. We do we have live music every Saturday night um, we have a lot of local bands trying to make sure that we're supporting our this community um, but we are also venturing out and pulling some bands south of Atlanta all the way to north of Nashville so we have a lot of different bands coming in we've got some great music lined up for the next Mm, two months or more mm -hmm. um, we're booked solid so we've got a lot of entertainment coming hey, in. I know the Van Leers are playing on the 13th of October. Absolutely I love the Van Leers. Um, they have a special place in my heart. I graduated and went to school with Trey Bentley and um, Andrew's his little brother and we've hit it off pretty well and his wife or girlfriend I'm so sorry <laughs> um, just opened a little shop here in downtown Dalton as well so um, we're trying to collaborate and do a lot of things together, but the Van Leers are doing great things with their music, and I'm super excited to have them. Great, and I think music starts at 7 o'clock on every Saturday. We usually, about. the doors open at 7, the bands normally get started around 9 p.m. Okay. Gives everybody a chance to get ready yeah. and, and <laughs> refresh and get before geared they up. have to get out. I know you also have some specials in the tavern, like a balloon drop, so tell us about that. We do. We do a $100 balloon drop on Friday nights, and this is new. This starts this, this Friday night, so we're going to try to do this all the way through the month of December. We know that during the holiday season, money gets tight, and there's always a good opportunity that you may actually walk out with more than you walked in with. Great. Pay your so tab and everything. Yeah. And then you have some other specials like a classic car Saturday. Saturdays. We're really trying to pull into our classic cars. We would love to have them in there. We're offering a 10% discount on all your food uh, for box and classic cars Saturday during the day starting at 12 o'clock. Well, I, there are so many great things going on in this new kitchen tavern called Broken Spoke. It's on the corner of Kyler and Hamilton and we hope everyone gets a chance to visit. Now we'd like to welcome Ty Snyder from the Dalton Area Convention and Visitors Bureau and the Visitor Center here in the historic Freight Depot. So thank you so much for joining me thank today. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. We see each other very frequently. We do. Our offices are next door to each other. So. <laughs> and the visitor center is here. So tell us a little bit about sure. the hours and 
uh, functions of the sure. visitor center? The, the visitor center is actually in the Dalton Freight Depot down here on the 305 South Depot Street, and we're open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. Uh, essentially is a visitor center for people coming in from out of town, but if you have visitors visiting you, it's a great place to start your uh, stay here in Dalton. We have maps and brochures and all kinds of things uh, to find out about the Dalton area. We also have a little gift shop here we where do. people we can do. buy their souvenirs. We have Dalton postcards. Those are hard to find. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Dalton t-shirts and pins, lots of different items with Dalton on it, uh, photos of Dalton. A historic item so it's kind of a neat place if you're looking for something uh, especially for Christmas to send out of town carpet coasters or anything with Dalton on it, it's a great place to come for Christmas. There are also a lot of historical displays and community mm -hmm. organization displays here too. Yes, we have eight display cases in here. Uh, Railroad, Civil War History, the Emory Center, uh, the, uh, the Dalton Whit Whitfield Murray Historical Society has a case in here. And we're about to convert that all over for, for Christmas, for November, December. We're going to have 20 years of the Nutcracker here. We're going to have eight display cases. Each display case will have different artifacts of all the different Nutcrackers through the years. So oh, if you were in it years ago, you can come by and see if you can find a photo of yourself. We're so, going to beautify the yes, place. Yes, we are. Yeah. Um, and I know this is also a popular destination for events yes. and rentals. We have all types of events. We have weddings, wedding receptions, after rehearsal dinners, uh, Christmas parties, birthday parties, both sweet 16s and, and 90th birthday parties, uh, 50th anniversaries, you name it. Uh, we rent the, you can come down. And what's unique about our site is you rent just the room. You can bring in your own caterer. Uh, you can cater it yourself, which is kind of unique here in Dalton. So. Okay. And uh, people can call 706-270-9960 uh, is the easiest number to reach me by. That's the main switchboard number here at the Dalton Freight Depot, 706-270-9960. All right, and I'd like to invite people also to bring their children and grandchildren down for some train watching. It's yes, becoming yes. very popular. Yes. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today and tell your friends and family to meet me downtown. To advertise your business on TV, contact Elliott Media at 706-529-4237.